Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a good old favorites video and I'm actually gonna break up my current favorites into two videos. For this video, I'm gonna be doing makeup and skincare. For my next video, it'll be right after this one. Uh, it'll be more lifestyle, body favorites, books, supplements, things like that. But for today's video, we're gonna do makeup and skincare. They're doing so much construction outside. They're doing lawn stuff outside and I've been sitting here for hours waiting for them to take a break or something and they're not taking a break. So if the noise is distracting, I'm very, very sorry, but I don't have a lot of time before I have to go pick up my kids from school and I really want to film this video for y'all. So, and this is really my only day to do this. So I'm very sorry if it's distracting. I'm just gonna try and ignore it. I'll maybe put some, a little bit of background music in this video to kind of help. Um, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. But as always, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, something to enjoy, put your cozy sweatpants on if you just wanna sit back and relax and chill for about 20 or so minutes. And let's go and get into it. So before we get into the video, I did a Instagram reel on this look. So if you wanna know exactly how I did this, definitely check out my Instagram. I did my own little take on this siren eye trend that I've been seeing everywhere. It's basically a cat eye or it was like a fox eye, I think like last year or the year before. I feel like it's just a new name for the same technique, but I wanted to try it, put my own spin on it, and this is what I came up with. So if you wanna know how I did this look, definitely check out my Instagram. So let's go ahead and start with skincare. Um, I have a few new things actually that I wanted to talk about that have made a huge difference in my skin. So I'm gonna go through a couple things that I talk about all the time just to kind of get them out of the way. The first being my Bioderma Micellar Wipes as well as the Bioderma Micellar Water. These two are staples for me. I use this as a kind of third cleanse. So after I remove my makeup with an oil cleanser, which I'll talk about in just a little bit, I go in with my regular cleanser and then I'll just take this on a cotton round and just do a once over at the very end just to make sure that I got all the little bits of bronzer around my hairline, any like lingering mascara, you know how it is with makeup. So I love this. I uh, This is actually a brand new bottle. I just ran out of mine. So I've always got a backup. This is my favorite. And then I love the micellar wipes for after the gym. So right after i'm done with the gym in my car or in the bathroom whatever right before i leave i just go over my face with one of the, one of these that way i don't have a bunch of sweat and oil and just yucky stuff on my skin for the drive home or if i have to go to the grocery store on the way home or make a stop or something i just like having clean skin i don't like all of that just sitting right on top of my skin so these are amazing they don't leave a residue on the face they don't leave your skin feeling tight or greasy um so i love both of those so talking more about cleansing um, i actually have two new cleansers that i've really been liking so to remove makeup this has been amazing this is the naturium fermented camellia creamy cleansing oil. I picked this up on a whim from my local Target. They actually sent me their ginseng cleansing balm, which I used that up completely. I prefer a tube, like a cleansing oil or something that I that I don't have to dig my hand into. It's just, that's just my preference. I loved the cleansing balm, but I wanted something that I didn't have to put my hands in. So I decided to pick this up from Target. I love it. It's really, really thick, which I like that as well. It's not an oil. It's definitely more of like, almost comes out looking like a gel. Here, I'll show you what it looks like because I don't think I'm gonna describe this very well. But yeah, it comes out looking like this clear gel. And then as you rub it in, it really breaks down into this more oily consistency. Um, there's no scent or fragrance to it, which is really nice. And yeah, I've been really enjoying this. Honestly, the only negative is that I'm going through this very quickly. You get three and a half ounces. And I think for the average person, it's good. It's a good size for me because I'm filming and taking off makeup, you know, sometimes multiple times a day. Um, I am gonna go through this very quickly. It's around $20, so it's not super, super cheap, but it's also not very expensive either. So this is just one that I've really been enjoying and I would definitely repurchase this. It doesn't burn my eyes either, which is amazing. And then the cleanser that I use after I go in with this, so I'll apply this 
really work that onto my dry skin, really break up all of my makeup. Then I'll take a little bit of lukewarm water, kind of rinse that off, and then I'll go in with my cleanser. And the one that I've really, really, really been enjoying has been the La Roche-Posay uh, Tolerian Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. And this is not a typical cleanser for me. I normally go for really foamy cleansers or ones that lather. I actually used up an entire one of their foaming cleanser. I loved that, but they sent me this one, so I figured I would try it, and I think this has been working out so much better for my skin. Over the past few months, I've been having a ton of issues with my skin. I think I've just been sweating so much and my skin uh, is very sensitive so um, yeah I've been having a lot of skin issues and since using this I can tell a big difference in my skin there's another product in here that has been oh, so incredible which I'll talk about in a little bit but I really like this cleanser it removes everything I need it to remove even though it is more hydrating and not that really lathery foamy cleanser it still gets the job done so i really 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 like this one definitely not a norm for me but i really like it and it works really well so after i cleanse my skin i follow it up with my moisturizer and my spf so the moisturizer i've been loving oh here it is is the Naturium Multi Peptide Moisturizer. I've mentioned this in several videos of mine. This is something that they actually sent to me. I used up an entire tube of this and then repurchased it myself because I love it so much. It is so, so good. It's fragrance free, it's very simple, and just no bells and whistles, but it just does what I need it to do. And then for SPF, uh, my tried and true Elta MD UV Restore. I also love the UV elements, the UV clear, the UV replenish. I mean, really Elta MD, you can't go wrong with their sunscreens, but this is the one that I have just been using recently. It's a mineral sunscreen and it's tinted. Their white ones can sometimes be a little too white for me. The UV clear is good. It does not leave a white cast. The UV replenish, the white one, uh, leaves a pretty intense white cast on me. So that's why I always like to go for the tinted ones. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, if you use a tinted SPF, that actually gives you a little bit more of that mineral protection. So anyway, this is my go-to everyday SPF. I love it. And then my nipple balm. I have to talk about my Dr. Lip nipple balm. I absolutely love this. I purchased this on a whim. I saw Conan Gray talking about it in his Vogue Beauty Secrets video. I love Conan Gray and I immediately bought it off of Amazon. So I got the little tiny one. I'm almost out of it. I'm like literally squeezing the last last little bit and I think I'm going to buy the bigger size when I run out of this. But it is so good. It's just 100% lanolin. No bells and whistles. No frills. It just moisturizes my lips and sometimes I just need something really thick and moisturizing and I love this one. Really, really, really good. They are making so much noise outside. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. We're just gonna have to power through. So I've got two more skincare products and both of them are brand new to me. Oh my gosh. And both of them have been game changers. So I'm gonna talk about an actual skincare product. The other one is a lash product, um, but the skincare product, oh my gosh, that I am absolutely obsessed with is the SkinCeuticals Retinol. I, I can't say enough good things about this. I have never had very good luck with retinol. They really just do not work well for my skin. I've tried a few in the past and I've never had any luck. Now I haven't tried a bunch, but I've tried enough to be like, okay, you know what, maybe retinol's not for me or I just haven't found the right one. I have finally found the right one. This is a 0.5% pure retinol. I use this every single night or every other night, just kind of depending how my skin is feeling. I love it, it doesn't burn, it doesn't irritate my skin. I've seen a huge difference in texture, in just overall tone of my skin. I can tell a big difference with hyperpigmentation and just scarring from old breakouts. I haven't been breaking out, which has been amazing. I was breaking out there for a few months, like consistently, like I would get over a breakout and then literally the next day, it's like, oh hi, we're breaking out again. I have not been breaking out at all since I've been using this. So like everyone's skin is different. So I don't want to say that this is for everyone, but if you have been on the hunt for a retinol and you've tried some, you just haven't had any luck, definitely give this one a shot. It is very expensive, but it is so good. They have different percentages as well. They have one that's a little bit um, 
less intense than this one and then they have a one percent which is more intense so after i use this up i'll probably move up to the one percent but i've just been really liking this and uh, it has made such a difference in my skin. And then another product that has made a huge difference, and a lot of y'all have actually been asking me uh, what I use on my lashes. And for the longest time I was using Grande Lash. That one's really good. It, you definitely get results from that one. However, it causes irritation with my eyes and it can make them really red, like on the skin around my eye. And it was just kind of irritating my eyes, so when I received this in the mail, after I used up my Grande Lash, I figured I'd give this one a try. If it didn't work, it's fine. I've tried so many lash serums. I've tried Lash Food. I've tried the Milk Kush Lash Serum, which actually that one was pretty good. I liked that one. I felt like at, over time, I didn't really see the results. Um, I kind of got like instant results and then it kind of just like tapered off. I don't know. Um, I didn't get like long-term results from that one. Um, I've tried the plume one. Um, gosh, I've tried so many and really none of them work except for the Grande Lash one. However, I received this one in PR. It's Maxi Lash. It's their eyelash enhancing serum. And I've been using this uh, every single night. Um, just on my top lashes, you can use it on your bottom lashes, but for me, I just don't really care about my bottom lashes that much. So I've been using it on my top lashes. Guys, within one week of using this, my lashes were insane. I've been using this for about a month now, maybe a little less than a month, three weeks or so. And I can tell such a big difference in my lashes. It is so good. This is also a very pricey product. I think it's around 90 to hundred dollars, which eyelash serums are stupid expensive just across the board. Um, but this one works. It's so, 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 so good. So yeah, very, very, very expensive products, but two products that have seriously just made such an impact in my skincare routine. And I highly recommend both. So moving on to makeup, a lot of these are gonna be very repetitive. So I'm not gonna sit here and like go into detail about every single product. Um, there are some new things, but really a lot of it's the same stuff that I always use. So Vita Labrata Beauty Blur. This has just been my go-to every single day. A lot of it's because I'm really, really tan on the body, but because I exfoliate my face so much, I'm using a retinol and I cleanse it a lot, my face doesn't really get very tan. So I love applying this just to kind of even things out. It gives my skin a really pretty glow, but it's not oily, it's not greasy. I, I've talked about this for years. It's my absolute, absolute foundation product. It is so, so, so good. Another foundation that I really like when I do want to wear a foundation is the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation. I love this because it's like a skincare makeup hybrid. Again, I've talked about this for years. It's just one of my all time favorites. And then along with that, I love the Oxygenetics Oxygenating Concealer. This is amazing if you just want to kind of spot conceal, you don't wanna wear a full face of makeup, but you're having little like breakouts or you have some redness or just some things that you wanna cover up. This is amazing. I featured this in my gym face video for those days sometimes when I'm dealing with a breakout. Um, I could just take a tiny bit of this and I just feel a little bit better kind of going into the gym. Not that you have to wear makeup to go to the gym and I never wear makeup going to the gym, but this is my favorite concealer for when I do. It's also great just for an everyday kind of spot conceal situation. So those are fantastic. Again, kind of that like skincare makeup hybrid. And then one other concealer that I've been loving, loving, loving. So my Hourglass Vanish Concealer has been a favorite of mine for a really long time, but I've been favoring more of a matte concealer because it's been so hot here. And the Rose Ink Concealer is so good. I've loved this for a really long time, but I've been reaching for this one over my Hourglass one because it is more of a natural matte finish. Um, it's got really great coverage. It honestly reminds me so much of the Hourglass Concealer, except more of a matte finish. So if you like more of a matte finish, you like coverage, this is great, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey. Really, 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 really good. All right, so speaking of rose ink, a continued favorite of mine is the Solar Bronzer. I use the shade Kawaii, which is actually a little light for me right now because I'm so tan, but typically this is a really good match for me. You can see I've made a nice little dent in here, and I love this because it's a cream 
bronzer, but it's matte, so I don't have to set it down. I can literally just apply my beauty blur, maybe a little bit of the rosy concealer, take this on a big brush, kind of buff it around the face, just for a little bit of color, and I don't have to go in with powder. This has just been a long time favorite of mine. I just enjoyed a lot of things from Rose Ink. Like her makeup products are so, so good. And this is one that I just love and adore and use all the time. Um, again, another repeat favorite, Bare Minerals Blonzer in Kiss of Copper. This makes every single favorites video. I am absolutely obsessed. There is no blush that I prefer more than this one. It is my absolute favorite. Honestly, I can't believe I haven't hit pan yet because I wear this every single day that I wear makeup. Oh my gosh, it is so good. This shade on me is perfection. So that is my all time favorite blush and will continue to be my favorite blush until I find something better. Um, favorite powder right now, again, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder in Translucent. Just a continued favorite. It never does me dirty. It just locks in my makeup, but it gives almost this like blurring effect to the skin. It just looks so, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, ColourPop Freckle Pen, always a must. I love going over the natural freckles they are, that I already have and then just adding a few more just for fun. This is my favorite. It's the never ending gobstopper of makeup. It literally won't die, so. Yeah, I, I don't know when this thing is gonna die because I've had this for so long and it still keeps going. Uh, brows, Refi Brow Sculpt per usual. This is gonna give me that nice like laminated effect. Um, I love going over it with the Arches and Halos uh, Microfiber Tinted Brow Mousse. Uh, on days that I don't want to actually fill in my brows, or I'll just use this on its own. This is a great kind of gym brow product if you just want to fluff up your brows, give them a little bit more color, a little bit more richness. Um, going in with this is amazing. It's got little fibers in it. It's my favorite tinted brow gel that I've ever tried. I don't like tinted brow gels until I, I, I never liked them until I tried this one. This is my absolute favorite. And then of course my NYX brow pen is my favorite kind of pen pencil. It's so, so good, easy to use, and it looks really, really natural. Now a, this is not a new brow product, but this is just a new one over the past several weeks that I've just kind of reincorporated into my makeup routine. And it's the RMS Beauty Back to Brow Brow Powder in the shade Dark. I've had this for years. It's always been one that I've really enjoyed, but just lately I've been reaching for a powder over my uh, NYX brow pen. And I love this one. It's really, really good, super easy to use. And I like the color. It's a nice like charcoal brown. Another continued favorite is the MAC MAC Stack Mascara. Uh, I prefer the micro brush version. Uh, this is the mascara that I'm always wearing. It's basically the only mascara that I wear these days. It's so good. It's that kind of spiky rubber wand gives you a ton of length, a ton of separation, and then if you layer it up, you can definitely get volume. That's what I have on my lashes today. I'm just obsessed, I love this. Chris actually bought this for me, and it's my like holy grail mascara, it's so good. And then I have a few lip products. So, Mineral Fusion Lip Pencil in Graceful is just forever a favorite. You can see I have just this tiny little nub left. Um, this has just been a favorite of mine for years. It's just this color is so perfect for my natural lip color. It is basically my lip color, maybe just like a hint, a hair darker. So it's really nice for um, overlining and giving a little bit more shape to my lips. I also love the Beauty Pie Lip Pencil in Foxy. This is more for when I'm doing more of a glam look, like this is the lip liner that I have on right now because this is super long wearing. It does not come off. So this is more for like day to day, just want something simple and easy. This is one where I need my lips to stay on all day, all night long. This is the one I reach for. And again, this shade Foxy is the perfect shade for my lips. It's just like a hair deeper than my natural lip color. So it looks really natural. It's great for overlining and contouring the lips. And then the Dior Lip Oil in Pink. I know y'all are so sick of hearing about this. 
This is my favorite lip gloss. It is so overpriced, but I do not regret it one bit. I paid for this myself and I freaking love this gloss. It is my all time favorite gloss. So this is a great kind of lip balm treatment. Um, this is what I'm wearing most days, but when I want a really shiny, glossy lip with a hint of pink, I do the Dior. So those are my two like everyday lip products. And then this has just been such a beautiful lip color kind of coming into the fall. I am not embracing fall yet. I refuse because I love summer. I love the heat. I love the sun. I love going to the pool. I love being outside and just being hot. I love sweating for some reason. I know it's weird, but I just like sweating. So I am not ready for fall. I am trying to push it off as long as I can. But this lip color is such a great lip color coming into the new season. And it's the PDL Cosmetics Liquid Lip in the shade Bonita. Um, I've used this for years. It's one of my all time favorites. Honestly, PDL Cosmetics makes the best lip products bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Um, she has a gloss. I mean, her lip products are on another level. They are the best. Her formulas are impeccable. And this liquid lip is no different. I love this color. I did a whole reel on this the other day, actually, because um, I'm just absolutely obsessed with this color, with this formula. It is perfection. It's perfect. All right, guys, that completes my favorites. I feel like I've been talking for so long. That's why I wanted to kind of split my favorites videos into two. So my next video will be all of my lifestyle favorites, fashion, outfits, workout, supplements. Um, I might even throw some food in there, just kind of some random things, um, jewelry, things like that. So if you want to see those kind of favorites, definitely uh, make sure you subscribe so you are notified when my next video goes live. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are So